Good evening, friends, and welcome to Up, Up, Down, Down, Left, Right. Amen. I am, as always, Adam Glass, as always, playing Christian video games. Going a little more retro than we have been for the last few weeks. Uh, going back to 1992 this week with a game I never played. Uh, kind of interesting. I, I feel like I should have played this when it came out. But who knows? Maybe I did, and I just forgot. I don't think that's true. I think I would have remembered playing this one. It's got an interesting pedigree, uh, and we'll pull up we'll pull up the introductory screen right now. It's currently sitting, waiting for me to confirm my sound blaster settings. Uh, I am streaming this week's game via archive.org because it is freeware and at this point certainly abandonware, considering the company that put it out no longer exists but the company that pointed out isn't the interesting part to this so this game is onesimus a quest for freedom it was released by arc multimedia publishing in 1992 they appear to have done very little else besides this and a bible trivia game called journey to the promised land also released that year where this gets interesting is that this game is a palette swap of a fairly popular shareware game called Jill of the Jungle. Seems to have been one of Epic Games' more successful releases before they finally got around to releasing Unreal in 1998. Uh, this means that we are playing a game that was technically programmed, as you can see, by Tim Sweeney. Uh, I... I assume that since Tim Sweeney's name is still appearing there, that this is an officially licensed work. Uh, John Plowright is one of the people credited for Jill of the Jungle uh, as far as artwork goes. So I assume this Rob Evans is the one who did the unique artwork for what we're seeing. Uh, so a lot, of, a lot of the assets are reused from Jill of the Jungle. Uh, but as far as unique access, at assets there we go i can talk that's rob evans i don't know anything else about this rob evans he has no other credits through moby games uh it could be maybe a very young i think he would <laughs> he would have been like seven at the time but robert evans podcaster and journalist uh maybe it's the same evans um <laughs> i don't think that's true anyway tim sweeney wrote this game at least programmed this game uh at least he did Jill of the Jungle, which is the same programming. As far as I know, this is not a direct one-for-one -one palette swap of Jill of the Jungle. It takes... Jill of the Jungle was first in a trilogy. The first one was released as Shareware. It's a very common model in the early 90s of DOS games. First one released as Shareware, and you were encouraged to buy the other two. Onesimus, also released as Shareware, as near as I can tell, takes... Uh, levels from all three of the Jill games and puts them in sort of a remixed order with a new overworld screen. So there's that. Uh, so this game, it's called Onesimus. It is based on the biblical book of Philemon. Philemon is a short letter from Paul that has been used to justify chattel slavery. Not great. Uh, <laughs> See, the titular Onesimus, titular to the game, of course, uh, is, or rather was, enslaved by the Christian Philemon, the titular to the letter. He escaped, possibly stealing something. Uh, anyway, somehow Onesimus ended up with Paul. Paul got to know him, got to like him, sent him back to Philemon with a letter asking Philemon to accept him back and forgive whatever offense he may have perpetrated, aside from running away. Well, forgive the running away, too, I suppose. Um, now, that's one interpretation. Uh, and it's a very, very much the most common interpretation, back for centuries, millennia, even. Um, alternatively, a uh, a theologian named Alan Dwight Callahan has argued that Onesimus and Philemon are actually estranged brothers. 
and that this letter is meant to reunite them. He says that the slave interpretation only dates the writings of John Chrysostom in the late 4th century. However, others uh, in critiquing Callahan have pointed out that Chrysostom wasn't the first person to make that argument, that uh, Athanasius and other writers before Chrysostom had also had that interpretation. Uh, Origen did not, noteworthily, and Callahan cites Origen in his belief that Chrysostom created this. Uh, In any case, um, (laughs) Paul sends Onesimus back. The most common interpretation is Onesimus is a slave. Uh, and the fact that Paul sent Onesimus back to Philemon was used as uh, tacit, was seen as a tacit approval of chattel slavery by American Christians who wanted to maintain chattel slavery, uh, despite it being uh, the most evil institution in the history of man with its twin brother, capitalism. All racial capitalism. That's all it is, right? Anyway. Some scholars have argued, though, that Paul's letter is perhaps the earliest example of Western thought that presents slaves as whole human beings, that the very basis of slavery in the ancient world, and certainly in the modern world as well, is that slaves were subhuman. This is common to American chattel slavery interpretations of why that was okay. Uh, And as such, since Paul does make a point in this very short letter to make sure Philemon knows that Onesimus is fully his brother, fully human, fully equal, that Paul is undermining the justification for slavery. And of course, Paul does end the letter asking Philemon to send Onesimus back to Paul, implying freedom. I don't know what this game's going to get into as far as that theologically. It's a side-scrolling platformer, and we play as Onesimus, so we'll see. Also, I don't imagine that I will play all of this game, mostly because I'm bad at these games, and I'm going to get frustrated, (laughs) so we'll see how long it lasts. But let me get in here and confirm my sound blaster settings. I don't even know if my computer has sound blaster. Is that a thing that still exists? I like that rainbow logo. That's very nice. Bible quotes are from the Living Bible. All right. Pick a choice. Play, restore, story. Instructions, hot tips take hot tips. In order to master the obstacles you'll face in Onesimus, you may need to know about certain secret weapons, bonus objects. Oh, Oh, it does look like Ark also put out a Bible paint and learn game. Ah, whatever that may be. I can obtain this information by calling this 800 number. I wonder what that 800 number is now. Let's just, let's not call it, but let's Google it and see if we can find out. 800-634-8672. Nothing coming up, so again, I'm not calling it. Besides, we're outside of the hours. 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. It's it's after nine. It's after it's certainly after five. No matter where you are in the country. All right. Hot tips, secret stuff. Oh, that was not how I go back. 
There we go, just enter. Other arcades, so Quest of the Scroll Scholar, award-winning Christian Computer Magazine Games Contest. I have to look into Christian Computing Magazine. Never run across that before. Uh, Journey to the Promised Land, as I already said. 1,200 Bible trivia questions combined with animated high resolution. Color graphics for one to four players. Chronicles of the Beginning Time, multimedia game without the expensive CD drive. Thrill to full motion video scenes of the creation events combined with a multi-level arcade game. Oh man. What a beginning time is one word. I am very interested in this game. I hope I can find it. Chronicle of the Beginning Time. I see a box for it on eBay, selling for $50 currently. That's not going to happen. Is that even still available? It is still available. It's actually only $40 currently. It has been marked down. Uh, brand new 1992 shipping from Fresno. Interesting. Well reviewed seller. Um, yeah, I can't find any other information on that game except for an eBay listing, and that's probably a bad sign. Uh, <laughs> Alright, what's our story? You're Onesimus, slave of Philemon. For months you have planned your escape from slavery. It is freedom you want. You can think of nothing else. Very good. One day while Philemon is away, you seize the opportunity. Stealing money from your master's house, you break away, fleeing towards Rome. Common. First you must displace slave quarters, then sneak through Philemon's house. Open doors. Gotta become a Christian, discover full freedom. Great. Way to Rome, however, you pass through treacherous areas. Besides keys and apples, you must also find other items necessary to complete your journey, including a knife to ward off dangerous animals. Even after arriving in Rome, you are restless until you find Paul and through him, Jesus. Then you are free at last. Go back to that. Tim Sweeney, John Pallet Plowright, as I said, Robert Evans. Could be. Dan Frolic did our sound. All the sound, I believe, is original to Jill of the Jungle. We won't be getting any MIDI versions of Christian hymns in this one, unfortunately. <coughs> Concept by Dave Snyder. Thanks to the Epic Mega Games crew. What's Noisemaker? All right. Well, we've started the game now. Shift to jump. It's got big ups. Alt currently does nothing. Gotta go find a key. Can't get by there. Suppose I go down. Metanismus cannot swim. Easy so far. Am I losing health when I fall too far? No, why? Why did my feet bleed when I land? From Paul, in jail, preaching the good news about Jesus Christ, and from 
Brother Timothy to Philemon, our much-loved fellow worker, and to the church that meets in your home, and to Archippus, who, like myself, is a soldier of the cross. This is the opening of Philemon, so I assume that we will slowly get more and more of Philemon read out. There's got to be some sort of Easter egg up here, right? What do we got? There we go. Hooray. I got myself some bonus points up there. That's multimedia up there again. I can't make that jump. need four keys to escape. It's getting very loud. My layman's house has elevators. want to dodge him, apparently. Oh, that's better. I made it. May God, our Father and Lord Jesus Christ, give you his blessings and his peace. Okay, we're just going through the book. I do like the music. Tim Sweeney, good job getting this music. Onesimus enters the world map. That is not, that's not from the Bible. That looks like I found a knife. Oh, a knife that acts as a, uh... Hmm. Roggies. Oh, no! Alright, don't touch the spikes. Don't touch the water. Decent animations on this too. How do I... How am I supposed to kill the frog? Oh, now I've lost the knife. Great. All right. I can only throw the knife when I'm standing up. I can only hit the frog when it's in the air. What? What is happening?
Well, I'm gonna die again. Oh, that's all the further I had to make it. I was at a checkpoint. Great. At a checkpoint again. The gladiator's tree fort. That makes perfect sense. Assume I'm going to have to... That'll work. Got my key. Oh, I missed it. I pray that as you share your faith with others, it will grip their lot. And we're really just going to get a slow drip of the Book of Philemon, which is not a very long book. They could be giving us more. That implies the game is pretty long. Alright, need gems to pass there. Into the caves. Oh no, giant slugs. I have a feeling, yeah, those giant slugs are not tall enough for me to stab. Yep. And I can't throw off of Onesimus, whose name means useful, hasn't been of much use to you in the past, but now he's going to be of real use to both of us. Oh no. Rock's gonna be a lot more useful to get those guys. All right. Well, looking at the, uh, you know, I'm betting this overworld map is straight out of Jill the Jungle as well. Give me back my rock. 
I liked the rock. Frogs are the worst. I myself have gained much joy and comfort from your love, my brother, because your kindness has so often refreshed the hearts of God's people. I can't get up there. What was the, what was the point of that? Are these red ones the crystals I need to collect? I thought those were blue. What is that in the water? Oh no! It's doing so well. I'm gonna get that. I want it. Really? I'm just mad. Can I fall down that water? I can. Oh no! Oh, but I have a spring and I'm back here. Interesting. What's the point to get back here? I don't like that. Go up. I do like that little, uh, that's a nice little reflection effect with the trees. That's very nice. Makes less sense with this block reflecting, but okay. Uh-oh. 
Dungeon Labyrinth. Castle? That doesn't really make sense. about that one. There does seem to be a secret down there, though. We go get the secret. Let's do it. Look at all those points I'm getting. So many points. less frustrated if I just quit and go back. It's a very frustrating jump because I keep hitting the ceiling of the level. 
unfortunately I don't have to go back down there, so. Persistent enemy death is very nice. Not something I would necessarily accept from a game in 1992. That's why Tim Sweeney's one of the best, right? that to me. That's just mean. Sending a miss back to you. No indication that that's the level exit. So that's annoying. birds die when they hit me. Otherwise, who knows what might happen. Back to the ring checkpoints. Oh, little fire guys. Fire guys who make bad noises. Bless your hearts, little fire guys. Remind me to look up who did the sound design for this and yell at them. very kind of them to put that checkpoint right there. Otherwise, I'd be incredibly angry right now. As it is, I'm only a little frustrated. A little more frustrated. Good music, though. I'm not going to get all these apples, that is for sure.
Got it. Paul makes great rhetorical arguments. He never out com comes right out and says, slavery is bad and you should free Onesimus. But he draws frequent comparisons between, you know, subtle but ideological comparisons between the chains he is feeling in his current state in prison, where he has met Onesimus in prison, and hoping that Philemon sees the connection. I wonder if he did. Keep holding over while you do that jump. Exciting. All right, bouncy balls can't be killed. hideout. Oh no! What? What are you? Is there a key down there? Oh no. I gotta go through the bouncy balls again. Maybe where I call it quits. All right, we're not going back to the rogue side out first, at least. Oh, 
I got a bag of coins. If I give the bag of coins to the rogue, if maze, doing but I can't get through those blocks so to me game. Let's try and answer creeps. Easter egg everywhere. All right. I can't. I don't seem to be able to attack him. I need to find. So there's got to be one in the maze because there's not going to be two in the rogue's hideout. Come on. Just keep moving. Oh, good. The rogue can... Survive lava. Good for him. I'm proud of him. All right. Did I find the bag of money up here? All right, back down to the maze, I guess. There's one key hidden in the maze. Great. This is a hard maze. Thanks, game.
think a big problem is I'm not going to be able to get back out of the maze. Found it! Hooray! I should be able to run down this edge. Yes. Alright, cool. gone back once I had two of those right. Perhaps you could think of it this way. That Onesimus ran away from you for a little while so that he can be yours forever. No longer a slave, but something much better. A beloved brother. The path to Rome. How many rings do you think I'll need? Keys, rather, not rings.
how many levels there are. Bees. I have three knives. How did that happen? To what end? There we go. Again, Paul is kind of laying it on thick. Treat Onesimus just like you treat me. I'm not going all the way back. Or whatever bonus might be back there. Ooh, the vista. And another maze. Stay away, bees. Yeah, then Paul says, if, if he owes you anything, if you took anything, charge it to me. And remember, you owe me your salvation. Uh, it doesn't take a lot to see that while this book does not make any explicit calls for the end of slavery that Paul was laying it on pretty thick to try and get Philemon to free Onesimus There's an ice castle down there. What's over here? The long road to Rome? Yeah. Ha! <laughs> 
Ha <laughs> ha, slips into the ice castle, do you get it? So I find a key. Oh no. Knife a snake. Get off the chain. There we go.
Ah. <laughs> Oops. Why is the ball smart? Forgot you can't knife snakes for some reason. Again. Paul's very much trying to get Philemon to do the right thing without ever actually telling him what the right thing is. Pretty easy one. I wonder if at the end I have to go back. Gates of Rome. Tell me that one, Paul. All right. puzzle, guys.
person who sports a ship. We're very close to the end of the book. What is the money for? I view this game's lack of, uh, men, lack of lives, to be a very big bonus. The final level. Information that I really can't hurt that thing. Do I already get that? 
Might as well, right? You're thinking this one is so mellow. For the final level. I'm about to find freedom. Not just any freedom, but true freedom. Anyway, just a reminder, true freedom in Jesus Christ also means material freedom. Onesimus should and will be freed. Again, Paul is not being subtle. Anyway, there we go. The House of Paul. Hey, Paul. Welcome to Innocence. I am Paul, Apostle of Jesus. Paul was in prison. Paul, what must I do to be saved, says Onesimus. All right, we do get a little, a little change in the music, because that's Amazing Grace. My quest is complete. Oh man, I beat Paul and all of the apostles and Noah. All right, back to Noisemaker. I want to know what Noisemaker is. Just says noise. And I can't interact with it, so. Alright, that's everything. Onesimus. A quest for freedom. It ends disappointingly with the only freedom being offered, a spiritual freedom in Christ, uh, even though the translation they use in particular is very, very unsubtle that true freedom is not just freedom in Christ, but actual material freedom for Onesimus, that Philemon should be freeing Onesimus. And sad that the game did not make that leap. Not surprised, though, that the game did not make that leap. That is not something that often happens. So... That was 1992's Onesimus, A Quest for Freedom from ARC Multimedia Publishing. We found that other ARC game listed in their, uh, in their preview there. Hopefully I can find that, but make no promises. Don't know what we'll play up next. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Any games I haven't played that you played as a child, whatever. It's just a weird niche, Christian Gaming. And this was a better one, but again, the better ones are direct ripoffs of actual games, right? So, it doesn't speak well for the creativity found in that freedom in Christ. But hopefully, someday, we'll find a creative Christian game that is unique and isn't about murdering college students. Professors. It was professors. Left Behind was a terrible game spiritually scarred me all right thank you so much for watching i'll see you next week with more up up down down left right amen i'm adam glass have a good week